change your algorithm. You can change your algorithm by changing your inputs. When you go onto YouTube, when you go onto Instagram or any app, uh, even like Netflix and all that stuff, you you keep consuming and you keep getting recommended stuff based on your interest and based on your inputs. Now, when you mirror that same uh, concept into your into your real life with your mind, whatever you think about is what you're gonna get. Now, if you say I'm not the that you're not good at maths, and you keep affirming that belief, and you you're gonna keep um, only believing that you're not good at maths. So anything that your mind um, believes is what it will achieve. So if you believe that something is not going to work out for you or you believe something will work out for you, it doesn't matter because your mind will just accept whatever you allow it to believe in. So, um, yeah, like I feel that um, social media is like a, is a perfect analogy of your mind because whatever you put into social media, yeah, it will recommend to you and give you back out. Like you put, um, you type in um, funny video about cat, you're gonna get loads of cats, you're gonna get loads of animal videos, you're gonna get all these funny different things. Um, and your mind is so, so much like that. We have an algorithm that we run every day we're based on our previous beliefs. But who is telling you that you can't just start believing from now what you wanna believe? And that's the power of being in um, the creator of your life. We create our own lives and it's like the most liberating thing and the most, uh, it's like the, the strangest thing as well. And it can be intimidating too, because there's responsibility for our actions and our actions aren't just based on what we do in this three, three dimensional uh, world our thoughts are a type of action too. So, um, it's important to remember that. Um, and I like the social media analogy because it's something I think about regularly. Uh, because if you start following certain people, you start following um, celebrities, news, crap, anything like that, then you will start becoming uh influenced by that stuff and it's going to start making you think a certain way because you've been uh programmed by it whereas and th and that's why when you go into instagram if you don't follow anyone it keeps trying to push uh things to follow because they want you to get influenced so that you can go on the app and then you can obviously spend time on it they make money from the ads whatever um same same with youtube so you got to be really like um like focused on what you want to consume because there's there's a lot of uh like material that's not valuable out there and um people are just mindlessly consuming it like junk food it's the same thing with food yeah when when you when you um uh consume junk food you feel like junk when you consume junk uh content you you feel like your brain doesn't work so um yeah like it just shows you that how powerful you are and how powerful your your thoughts are because you're from your thoughts you create feelings and from your feelings you're going to create actions you're going to start taking action based on how you feel and your thoughts is what makes you feel a certain way. If you feel a certain way about any kind of thing, any kind of subject, any kind of belief, uh, you're going to take actions based on that. You know, if someone if someone grew up being told they can't do something, it, it seeps into their adult life and then they, they start uh, consuming things that are going to give them uh, short-term pleasures and short-term uh, dopamine hits and stuff like that. And it gets deeper and deeper. And then people feel that they have to go and um, find an outlet to 
do certain things when they say uh like when when it's all here right it's everything you need is here like you've been given everything that you need and you just have to understand that you can do it you can think a certain way okay it takes practice meditation is a practice like being a master of your thoughts is a practice sometimes you're gonna not you're gonna fail basically well i won't say fail but some days it's not going to work the way you want it to work because you might be influenced by stuff but you're way better than what you were so yeah like changing your algorithm is a very powerful thing it it means you can um do things that you couldn't do maybe a, a week ago a month ago you can change whenever so you can change your algorithm whenever like when i when i started thinking about it like this because when i'd hear people say oh you can change and they'd be like what you can change like there's so much to change change little things first change your thoughts the first when you change your thoughts you will change so many things you start looking at things so differently it's like you've got a different um glass like different lens on you see life way differently you see it through that algorithm um and yeah that's it